What alarm clock are you? Alarm clocks of some kind have existed since people have had the jobs. Although we are not always happy when that alarm clock slices through our gentle slumber, all of us would agree that an alarm clock is a useful device. But not everyone has the same attitude towards their alarm clock. That is why we thought it would be interesting for you to identify your alarm clock personality. The mobile phone addict. 83% of all 18 to 29 year olds use their mobile phones as an alarm clock. The overachiever. 24% of people sometimes wake up before an alarm clock goes off. The greedy sleeper. Women need 20 minutes more sleep than men at night. This might be due to the men themselves, however. The snooze button. <laughs> Women hit the snooze button slightly more than men. Around 5% of women are still not fully awake after hitting the snooze button 4 times, while 100% of men are fully awake by then. The procrastinator. Oh ho ho, that is very bad, very bad indeed. Almost 10% of people ignore their alarms at least 3 times in the morning. The traditionalist. 23.3% of people use a traditional alarm clock to wake up and 14.9% use a clock radio. The naturalist. More than 50% of people aged over 55 wake up naturally without the use of an alarm clock or any other aid for that matter. Mr. Status Quo. <laughs> Did you know, the average time an alarm clock is set for is 7.04 a.m. Mr. Working for the Weekend 81% of people use an alarm clock every weekday, but not at the weekend. Miss Voss Alarm What? The alarm clock didn't go off again? Men are more likely to forget to set an alarm than women. 55.4% of men versus 46% of women. But women are more likely to set their alarms for the wrong time, with 49% of women versus 43% of men. The chubby undersleeper. Getting less than 5 hours of sleep at night can result in 6% higher calorie intake a day. The online clocker. In recent months, up to 1.34 million unique visitors per month have used the online alarm clock at onlineclock.net. I happen to be one of them. I have been your host this evening, Dr. Sigmund Clock. Sleep well and good night. Now, what kind of relationship did you have with your mother, hmm?